Kathleen here. Have you ever thought about marinating your chicken in mayonnaise? Probably not. I hadn't until a little while ago. The result is super flavorful, juicy chicken. I'm gonna show you what goes into it today, not a whole lot, and you'll see me fumble through deboning a chicken thigh. Maybe I'm getting better at it, I don't know. Let's get cheeky with it. This is Sweetly Savory. In preparation for this video, I attempted to debone both semi-thawed and fully thawed chicken thighs, both of which I had okay results. For some reason, these fully thawed thighs cooperated today. I'm honestly not sure if I would recommend deboning either semi or fully thawed chicken thighs. However, the process is the same. Using a large, sharp kitchen knife, slice into the meat surrounding the bone, making small incisions, ensuring the bone or you aren't sliced. Carefully slice until the bone is free. The most important thing I've come to terms with is that the bone does not have to be perfectly clean. Make lengthwise incisions partway into the chicken to flatten it out and creating more contact surfaces when cooking. By doing these steps, you will not only have, have the cooking time, but also increase the browning or Maillard reaction of the chicken. More on that in a moment. Coating the chicken in mayonnaise will ensure the seasoning stays on and releases more easily from the cooking surface. The emulsion of egg yolks, vinegar, and oil will adhere best for cooking because droplets of oil surround the egg yolk. Water and oil marinades work well to infuse flavor, but they don't mix and adhere to the food itself, leaving you with food that's stuck to the cooking surface being yanked off and lacking that Maillard reaction. The Maillard reaction is a chemical transformation between amino acids and reducing sugars during cooking. Named after its discoverer, Louis Camille Maillard, this reaction gives baked goods distinct browning and grilled foods their characteristic flavor. It's like the umami of the five basic tastes, salt, sweet, bitter, sour, and umami or savory. Now this chicken deboned cooks up significantly quicker than leaving the bone in there. Now tonight I paired my chicken with my three bean salad and I added some quinoa to it, give it a little bit more oomph. I'm dying to eat this chicken. I know it's gonna be delicious. Let's go ahead. Now right there, that's some juicy chicken. Even though I did kind of cut into it so it lays flatter like a book when you cook it so it cooks evenly. Part of it did get a little crispy. It didn't get dried out. The chicken on the outside gets that crisp, but on the inside it's gonna stay nice and moist. The mayonnaise is gonna retain that moisture in your chicken. It's not gonna dry out as it's cooking. I'm gonna put it on my website. Link is gonna be down in the description. And we will see you again next time here on Sweetly Savory. What a great outro.